what's going on guys living at zombies here back with another pokemon go video and in today's video guys we are talking about the new ultra beast event the inbound from ultra space event this event does start from july 8th at 10 a.m local time and lasting for a few days until saturday july 13th at 10 a.m local time do remember every day of this event will feature a different ultra beast raid boss in the five star raids so here is the complete raid schedule for this event with these ultra beast pokemon so yeah first up on monday july 8th we do have guzzlord in raids and also do remember every day of this event will feature a raid hour for that specific raid boss from 6 p.m to 7 p.m local time so yeah guzzlord is up first on the 8th and then neolego on the 9th and then celestila cartana but they will still be region locked on the 10th celestila for the southern hemisphere cartana for the north and thursday we have sakataka and blasaf Cephalon back in raids, Stack Attack for the Eastern Hemisphere, Will Cephalon for the West, and then Friday we have Buzzwool, Pheromosa, and Zerkatry in those raids. Buzzwool is for the Americas, Pheromosa is Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and India, and Zerkatry is the Asia Pacific region. So yeah, if you guys are like me and you want to get that shiny Zerkatry, Buzzwool as soon as possible. If you guys did not play the in-person events, you can go for those Friday local time in their respective regions. And of course, with these raid bosses, you guys can, yeah, for sure, remote raid them. And do remember, as of right now until July 11th, the daily remote raid limit will be increased to 20 remote raids per day. And then from July 12th to July 14th, there is no remote raid cap you guys can do as many remote raids as you want to that entire weekend and also when you do raids of these ultra beast pokemon during this event you could get the special background on that ultra beast pokemon that does look like this which does look pretty sick i can't lie so yeah i believe the average chance right now to get that background is around 15 percent chance to get that background so it is kind of rare but you do have a chance to get that pretty cool background and you might get it on your shiny ultra beast pokemon too now let's talk about the free time research that does come with this event you guys can get encounters with these ultra beast pokemon for free but you do have to win some raids right so yeah, you could use some free raid passes for these you could just do one star raids for these and you will encounter after winning two raids plus Safalon, and then three is Sakataka, four guzzlord five neolego then cartana celesteela zirkatry buzzwool and Ferramosa are featured in that free time research along with some xl candy for buzzwool Ferramosa, and zirkatry too and then for five us dollars guys this will last until july 14th you can get xl candy for all of the ultra beast pokemon even some cosmog candy in there too and then some raid bonuses to go alongside that as well such as 5,000 more xp from raid battles two times dust winning ultra beast raids one extra candy one extra xl candy from completing five star raids and up to free raid passes per day so yeah guys that does pretty much summarize the inbound from ultra space event make sure you guys do take advantage of that free time research and also try to get those cool special backgrounds on those ultra beast pokemon and again if you are waiting for shiny buzzwool Ferramosa, circuitry whatever you guys can start going for that friday local time instead of saturday local time because yeah the global go fest will feature those in raids too but you can start going for those three specifically friday local time so yeah guys comment below which ultra beast you are going to do the most raids of in the comments below guys will it be the buzzwool Ferramosa, circuitry celesteela let me know thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed drop a like in the video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace